Hi everybody, Lisa here. Today I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour on an 8x20 stretch canvas. I'm using black as my base color. I'm going to be doing a series of puddle pours. I've already mixed the Spot On Treadmill lubricant into the colors. All the colors will be listed in the video description box. I'm excited for this because I just did my very first Dutch pour and it came out so beautifully. I was just so amazed. So of course I had to do another one right away. So let's get started here. This is going to be actually a double Dutch pour. I don't even know if there's already a name for that or whatever, but I want to do it coming from two different angles. I'm super excited to see how this one turns out. I'm really terrible at doing puddle pours. I never get them beautiful like a lot of people do. I'm very sloppy, but I do get good results most of the time. I guess it really doesn't matter because you're going to be blowing the paint around, but it just bothers me because it's not aesthetically pleasing. We'll see what happens. I made a little barrier here on the edges. You can't see it, it's off screen. So when I use the blow dryer to blow the paint, it doesn't go all over the place and on my monitor. And what you do, you make a little, like a dam of paint in front of it, and you take your blow dryer and turn it on and blow it that way. And then you come back and blow it this way. So what I'm gonna do is this one first, and then I'm gonna have to turn the canvas around to do the other one. And last time I tried it on low, but my blow dryer wasn't strong enough, so I'm gonna do it on high. I think this might be cheating, but I'm gonna put a little bit of paint right here because I blew too much paint and the black is coming up from underneath. Sorry, all you Dutch poor aficionados. I'm cheating. Okay, I don't know if that made it better or worse. Maybe some cells will come up and that'll look a little bit better. Now I'm gonna turn the canvas around and do the same thing. Look at those cells, they're beautiful. So I need to make my little paint dam right here. And I'm hoping this, since it's up closer this way, I'm hoping this comes more to meet this other one. We'll see. This is so beautiful, look at all this lacing. I'm loving it. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm really happy with this side, that's gorgeous. This, not so happy with, I need to fix that because that's gonna bug me. Let's see if I can thin this paint out a little bit more. I think that's how I'm gonna get out of that. I'm a little disappointed in this side. That was my bad though, I blew it out too much. This side is stunning, I love this. I mean, it's not too bad for my second attempt at a Dutch pour, although my first one was pretty phenomenal. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Stay tuned for close-ups. I'll see you next time, bye.